What's up everybody and welcome to today's edition of Tool Duel. We're going to post all the specs and the cool features of each tool, but I want to know in the comment section below, which tool do you like the best? Which one has the coolest features and what would you change? I want you all to decide the winner between the two of these tools. Now with that being said, let's take a look at the two tools that will be competing in the Tool Duel. Alright, we got a really cool one here guys. Today we're putting up the Makita versus the Rigid Octane. The model number for the Makita Impact is XDT12Z. The model number for the all new Rigid Octane, R86039B. I want to know which one wins out of these two. The winner will move on to a DeWalt Tool Duel. We'll talk about specs, we'll talk about price, we'll show you these things in action. We're going to do screws, we're going to do some giant lags. It's going to be fun. Leave a comment in the comment section below. If you can, let me know the winner. So, the Rigid, brand new, just hit the market. Actually, really not even available yet. It is on the Depot site. Today, we're going to use the 6AH Octane battery. On the Makita, we're using the 5AH, so the Rigid, you're going to have a little bit of a one-up on the Makita, but it shouldn't make that much of a difference. Now, of course, I will put a link in the description below for each one of these tools, but let's start with the Rigid first. So the Rigid quarter inch impact, you're looking at $129 as of today on the Home Depot site. You have six different modes on this beast. You got three different speeds. You got an automatic and you got the different types of impact that you're doing. It is a little bit bigger than the Makita. You'll be able to see that in the video coming up here, but the 2,400 inch pounds of torque, well, that's pretty impressive. The blows permitted on this, 3,500. The RPMs on it, you're looking at 2,900. The weight on this, 2.85 pounds. Of course, it is the 18 volt and it's running off of the Rigid Octane Smart Battery. Not only do you have three bright LED lights up there, you've got a dedicated light trigger right here on the bottom, or you can turn it on by squeezing the run trigger. Now, one thing that this has going for it that the Makita does not, well, it has the lifetime service agreement. So, if you're going to go put this up on their website, register it, you don't have to worry about it anymore. As far as it goes with the feel of it, it is a little bit bigger, it is a little bit bulkier, but it is very comfortable and it forms well around the hand. I really like that over mold. Feels great, definitely feels heavy duty. Really, really happy with that. Now you also get the belt clip and you get the bit holder in the back. The small things count for me. We're gonna put this up against the Makita. Again, we're gonna drag some lag bolts. We did the overview for that. We talked about the specs. Let's move it over to the Makita, look at the exact same information, and then we'll put these things to work. Now these are both brushless, but Price range, what are we looking at here? Well, for the Makita, you're looking at $179. Now on this, you have a four speed power selection. The only thing I don't like about this is you actually gotta pull the trigger just to get this to work. It will not work unless you pull the trigger first. Definitely a little smaller than the Rigid Octane. You're looking at about 2.3 pounds for this. You also get the LED light, very bright on this. You got the single light, not the three like you had on the Rigid. And in case I forget, you do get a three year warranty on the tool and the battery. Real smooth action right there. You got 1,550 torque inch pounds. The voltage on this, 18 volt, just like the Rigid Octane, not the smart battery. Maximum speed, you're looking at 3,600 RPM. Bumps per minute, you're looking at a blistering 3,800. Now, as far as it goes with the feel of this, again, super, super comfortable. I will admit it's even more comfortable than the Rigid Octane. Just very compact. So it's really nice most of the hand well I love the over molding on this so well a really nice build the only other thing you have to watch out for is that pesky Makita marketing now never returns any emails to answer questions for the subscribers look how mean he is oh watch this will you return the email oh see that that pesky Makita gnome all right let's put these things to work I say we start out with some screws we'll go on the low mode first there you go it's some general basic all-purpose screws we're gonna put them down through a treated 4x4 now again we got the 6AH battery in the rigid octane and we got the 5AH battery in the Makita so we'll put it on low mode here all you got to do is push that button down on either one of these it's really nice and you got the LED lights to light up but on the rigid 
Again, you can adjust the speed, three different speed controls, and three different types of impact action. All right, let's try speed one first. Sounds like Rambo's machine gun. Love it. All right, so very nice and controlled. Let's do the same on the Makita right here. Sounds like there's more impacts per minute on that, but me personally, I think the rigid drove down has to be a little bit faster on the slow mode. But then again, that's not up for me to decide. It is up for you to decide. All right, let's take these out. We'll bump the speed up to medium now, and then we will also do an auto mode. All right, we're going to move these both up to mode two, so medium really, or the second setting. Rigid first. That's actually pretty quick for the uh, second mode. All right, let's do the Makita. So where the rigid actually went straight down without any impact, the Makita actually started to impact almost three quarters of a way down. So let's take this out and we'll go on high. And again, after this, we will do the half inch lag. So now let's try the high mode. The rigid octane, when, when you're putting some pressure on those, they just pummel those screws, man. They just go down. That was Makita. So basically, they were both really quick. Don't get me wrong, they are both really impressive. Really impressive tools. So let's go into auto mode now. We'll do the rigid first. Now what I like about the rigid auto mode is when you drive those screws down, it goes full force and then right when you start getting close to pretty much being flush to your board, it basically just stops. You're going to see it right now. So let's check this out here. Auto mode. And it stopped by itself. And if I pull the trigger again, it will go again. But yet, basically stop by itself. Now Makita also has basically an auto mode. And this is right here. You can see it doesn't really work the same. And it actually broke the screw head off. So I think in my personal opinion, um, I think the rigid has an up on the auto mode. So let's do the half inch lags. We're going to go a little short. I think these are, I don't know, two, three inches, something like that. Uh, we're going to use the exact same sock as three quarter and... Uh, we're just going to drive them down. We're not going to use any pilot holes. So let's do this. We're going to start out. I'm just going to start them a little bit just so I don't have to wrestle with them. I want to do them both at the exact same time. All right, so this one here is start a little bit. They're only maybe down an eighth of an inch. We'll start this one out over here. Make sure they're at the same height. Give them two twists. There you go. All right, they're level. Now we're just going to go to town. Now after we do this, I will drive longer lags down through this treated 4x4. Alright, here we go. Now the Makita did jump a little bit. You see that lag went a little catty wampus or whatever you want to call it. So you can take it however you want. You know, they finished up at the same time basically on this test, but you can see that the lag did go a little crooked when I first started going down through. So this is why we tend to do it again. Now to take them out, you can see that the Makita is a little quicker. All right, let's try some longer lags. I think these are like six inches or eight inches, not really short, but both half inch. Let me start this one the same as I did the other. All right, and we're both leveled up. Let me go grab my other impact here. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna put these, and these are both on high mode here. Now the rigid has a dedicated lag mode. 
That's what it's on. The Makita is set up too high. Let's do it. Yeah, that's great. They both started going crooked at the same time. Not that easy to do when you're doing it by yourself, especially without pilot holes. If I had the pilot holes, eh, it would be a little bit easier, I think. But I wanted to see what it would do. So let's take these out here. So the Makita, just a hair faster than the Rigid Octane. So there you go guys, both very impressive tools. I mean, either or, these are great. Now, does the size matter to you? Does the price matter to you? What about that lifetime service agreement? Does that matter to you? What about the three LED lights versus the one LED light? Does that matter to you? Now remember, the Rigid does have the lifetime service agreement. The Makita has a three year warranty on it. That includes the batteries. The Rigid Smart Battery, you can track it on your phone, it has all the different stuff that you can do on that application, see how long the battery life is, you know, if it's running hot, you know, when you need to recharge, if it's stolen, you can lock it, all that cool stuff. But at the end of the day, this is up to you. Whoever wins out of these two will face the Dewalt. I'm not going to tell you which one, you will have to wait. But I want to know, leave a comment in the comment section if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, check us out at tourviewzone.com, come over and say hi to us on the Instagram page, we'll be back with more tool duels very soon.